Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The subject of today's uh, class is going to be how to make a contemporary kind of design using some of our chicken wire. Yes, chicken wire. I know that many of our videos we've featured foam, and some of you have been contacting us and saying, hey, we've been playing a little bit with chicken wire. What is the best way to do it? Well, we want to oblige, and therefore, we want to play with this mechanic as well. At Rittner's Floral School, we teach a number of different mechanics in our certificate and diploma courses, and chicken wire is one that's been around just about forever. Grandpa used it all the time, and it's fairly easy to work with. The nice thing about chicken wire is we can simply take it and fold it. It's pliable, it's bendable, so that we can take, essentially, a, a piece of this stuff and bend it, shape it, and then stick it into a base and work with it. And it'll hold our stems in place. And therefore, it becomes quite a, a viable kind of base to work with. And we thought you would enjoy seeing us do something with it today. Now, we've done this in one other video. The video was a little bit more classical. It was one of these kind of from field to table type informal centerpieces in a classical container. Notice the container we have here is a more contemporary one. It's pretty much filled with water. We got a little bit of our chicken wire on the top and we're ready to go. Flower wise on this, we're going to be playing with one of my favorites. It's springtime and therefore we've got some lovely lilacs. They absolutely, mm, they smell amazing and it's a branchy, a flowery branchy kind of stuff, and this stuff is wonderful because we can get it at this time of the year. And these things do tend to uh, be very, very hydrophilic. In other words, our, uh, our uh, flowering branches do love water, and because they do love water, then uh, it definitely is one of these kinds of things that works very, very well when we're starting to play with some of our chicken wire because we're basically putting our flowering branches into water-based media, but we're doing it in a way that is really good for it because it is definitely hydrophilic. So notice I'm just taking these, I'm placing them in, I'm placing them around. I am, in a sense, taking them and working them in all the way around here on this. I think that the one thing that you will notice when you're doing this kind of designing is that your, uh, your mechanic, your, uh, your use of the uh, chicken wire, it's such that it's not going to hold it exactly. Things are going to wiggle, they're going to wobble, they're going to move around a little bit, and you may be tempted to use new and exotic verbiage because of that. However, it, once you get this in there fairly securely, uh, it does hold pretty well, and you can see that I'm coming around pretty much with a shape on this, and then I'm taking a few pieces, and working them pretty much into the center. So I'm in effect doing the chicken wire equivalent of greening my base using my flowering materials. Now at this point we're going to mix a few different things into our design because we do have some very very pretty materials to work with. Of course one of my favorite uh, materials year-round happens to be hydrangea. They are beautiful. They're one of the most popular materials out there. And I like the small green hydrangea because they definitely are very, very electric in their coloring. And they really give a very, very pretty effect. So I'm going to use a little bit of this in my design. The one thing that you will notice as we work this through is that as we keep adding materials to it, it's going to give us a little bit more um, uh, viability in terms of placement. In other words, before things were really kind of swiveling, moving around, but the more stuff I put in here, the more it intertwines, the easier as far as holding quality is concerned. So that notice, my viewer, as I'm adding more and more material here, it's staying with less swiveling and with less movement. Now another one of my favorite flowers that we'd like to play with today Sunflower. Sunflowers are one of my favorite. They are gorgeous. They are a very, what I would call a very optimistic kind of flower. And because of that, they are very, very easy to live with. They also are hydrophilic. And the things that we're playing with in this are hydrangea, our uh, lilacs, our sunflowers, are things that love water and therefore work really well when we're coming up with this kind of a base. And so you'll notice that a couple of sunflowers, one a little closer, one a little farther. Let's add another one kind of coming over here. In other words, this design 
is giving us a really, really pretty effect. And it is a little bit more, I would say, contemporary in feeling than some of the other things that we've done in the last video. But it still works quite well. I'm going to take one more sunflower and work it over here. Again, I'm using my, uh, my medium of the chicken wire to hold things in place. And you'll notice that this is giving me a lovely, lovely effect on my design. Notice that the use of the sunflower, I am deliberately taking it, placing things here and there. In other words, I'm allowing one piece to kind of angle down, one to flow over here, one over here. This is very similar to the same thing that we did when we played with the um, footed pedestal, which was a little more traditional or classical, because it gives a more natural effect. Uh, a little bit of hypericum berry, you never can go wrong with berries. Berries always give a really kind of cool effect. So I'm going to sneak a couple of hypericum berries into this arrangement. There are a lot of other things that we used when we did the, uh, the more traditional one that was in a footed pedestal. But this one I'm going to leave a little bit more minimalist. I could stop at this point if I want to do and it gives us a lovely effect. Once again you'll know from some of the things we've done that I generally tend to like putting branchy stuff in. And you never can go wrong mixing branchy stuff in with your arrangements because branchy stuff extends the eye beyond and it makes the design feel a lot bigger. So that we can take some of our branchy stuff, and I'm using curly willow in this particular case, and place a couple of pieces of curly willow in here. And it's going to make my arrangement feel much larger than it actually is. Again, I've got to kind of nest it in here and try to catch my um, my chicken wire so that I'm catching it and it's staying. And notice I have a piece shooting over here, I have a piece shooting over here. It gives me a very, very lovely, lovely kind of effect. And notice my viewer, this design is big. It's big, it's showy, it definitely takes a lot of area. Uh, I like the uh, minimalist kind of look on here, but if you decide that you feel more comfortable adding more material, you could always add another flower or two. We could add another flower here, or I could simply take a little bit more of my uh, lilac uh, foliage and work another little piece in here. So notice that kind of fills that spot very, very nicely. Good use of positive space, negative space through the design. Flowers kind of dripping and drooping in different directions. It gives us a very, very informal look, but it's not a tiny design and it is a little bit more contemporary in feeling than the classical design that we featured in the footed pedestal. So what do you think, my viewer? Quick, easy, and fun. That's the Rittner Floral School way. And I would say to you that if you want to start playing with things that are very hydrophilic, that they love water, things like your lilacs, things like your hydrangea, and you want to come up with a very natural, kind of interesting, flowing kind of look, Consider taking tall contemporary containers using a little bit perhaps of your chicken wire on it and you can come up with some very, very pretty arrangements. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We thank you for joining us today and uh, keep, uh, keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing and watch the continuing series of videos that we're making available out there for you. On behalf of all of us, thank you for coming in and visiting with us.